the gym, man. <laughs> They're completely out. What's the food? They got pig's feet. <laughs> pig's feet? I guess you could jam, grind them up and make a jam out of them. <laughs> All right. Did you try something? No. No? I wonder if it's any good. I didn't like jam. <laughs> jam with Paul, man. That's right. not moving at all they went in they removed six other of my church members before they found the right one so that's how it is at my church you don't want to miss coming best nap you'll ever get okay all right anyway we're gonna have a moment of silence these are all the customers and friends i've been here 48 years in this tire shop bill you've been here all of them too thank you you're only 45 years old yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks, Paul Quinn, for being in the house. We got another celebrity. My God, everybody's here, but the mayor. But the mayor said he's on his way after these burnouts. So I said, "Good, bring them all." All right, here we go. Tim Smart just passed away, I believe, yesterday. He rode with us all the time, right, Jimmy? He did, he rode with us. He was customer forever for friends. Josh Head, uh, I think his brother's here somewhere. Thank you for being here, my friend. We rode together all the time, and he was a good customer. Ralph Taggart, my uncle passed away. Jim Arnold, who knew LJ Arnold? Jim Arnold would be here. Yeah. And he get out, party all of us, and hang out later than all of us, too. Bill. Howie Harlan, remember Howie? Lived down, always did the five mile turn stuff. Mike McIntyre, Bob Henderson, the next door neighbor. Where's his wife at? She's a judge doing the car show judging. Dennis McLaughlin, McLaughlin Auto Sales. Remember Dennis? Right up the street, Greg. Rick Schuster. He was here every single day to go get food and beverages and all that crap. Rick Schuster's family's in the house. And his wife died like two months later. I know it's not boring, but if not, get a beer. Beers are on me. Bonnie, his wife passed away. Schuster, three months later. He's all in her 60s, man, from Chandlersville. Dave Howe. Dave Howe had the badass Camaro. Everybody knows his Camaro, right? Thank you, Dave. Fucking badass, man. Yeah. Jerry from Walmart. He came here, gave me $100, which we had gift certificates give away to people. He was here every single event. He just passed away with cancer. His wife's here somewhere. Where's she at? She's smoking hot. <laughs> anyway, side show Bob Hissom is still here, but he's in bad shape. He's one of our biker friends. We wish he was here. He's in, uh, I think, hospice correct smelling. Somebody knows? Yep, right. Thank you. Gary Larry Gibson. He was called Gibby. We bought all our appliances from him for $100. 
hell of a man. Linda Allen, she was always a partner. She was a friend. She was a customer. And she was good looking. We sure will miss her smiling face. Jerry Bradley, we always did bike nights at Riverside. Have the people here from Riverside. He passed away. Boy, what a party that was, Bill Bagley. Bill Heine, another one just passed away. So anyway, that's my list. I think we know more. I wish they was here, but they're not. But we are still here, and dude, you never know. We're not here for a long time, but a good time. Wait a minute, Dave Lynn would like to have a word. Jason Lynn. Jason Lynn. September 29th. Jason Lynn, that was your son, correct? Yep, Jason Lynn just passed away September 29th. Well, anyway, it is what it is. We got to keep doing what we're doing. I appreciate each and every one of you guys being here. Dude, it's just nothing to have a car show or a bad turnout with nobody showing up. By God, if I'm going to have a party, we're going to have fun, we're going to have friends, we're going to have the best there is in the business. And thanks to the Lord Jesus. Anyway, let's get her done and rock on, will we? Hey, uh, I'm going to ask everybody, if you would, just bow your head. Let's give thanks for all the great things. Father, first of all, um, Thank you that this is a beautiful day. Your word teaches us in the book of Job that you're the one that creates these days and you keep them stored away for special times. And we're just thankful that today we're able to be blessed with a good day on an event that requires good weather to really have a great time. And uh, you are the one that simply speaks and it happens. You spoke and made this entire universe and now today, here in little Zanesville, Ohio, we have the privilege of being able to talk to you, the God of all creation. But well, we have some special needs. Just read through a list that represents a lot of families and a lot of friends. People that aren't going to be home when they get home. People that aren't going to be smiling when they get home from a hard day's work, people that made a difference in their life that are going to be around. I'm sure that in every case, in one way or another, these people were very, very special to them, and they've left behind a huge void, so, Father, you're the only one that can comfort them in times like this. I ask you to be with them. That even today as we celebrate all the good things that we're enjoying, we pause to, to remember those who've made a special impact in our life. Father, we thank you for Rocker, as crazy as he is. <laughs> yeah. That uh, when you were putting him together, <laughs> oh, <come> on, Bill. <laughs> you really put some special ingredients in there. <laughs> and we'll just let that stand alone the way I said it. <laughs> We ask you to bless this event, bless the time that people are going to get just to spend together, sometimes bumping into folks that they haven't seen around town maybe for a year because of all the viruses and everything and people getting more isolated. And today, get to bump into them here, check in with them, see how they're doing. So we're grateful for events like this to just bring us out of the daily routine and grind and allow us to enjoy a day in a different way than we normally would. So bless the rest of the time together, and uh, bless Rocker as he continues to reach out and provide things like this, and even the, the charity that this all goes to. Thank you, Lord, for pets, for these little four-legged cartoons that are always wagging their tails, always happy, always ready to greet us in a world that's going through the hard times that we're going through it's just really nice to have pets at home these pets are without a home they need family and the funds that are being raised here are going to help them find that family so just make that connection thank you for just all the joyous things that are taking place today through this event in jesus name we pray amen amen Yeah! Oh yeah! Rock on!
I forgot to thank my mom and dad, uh, my buddy uh, Digger Josh Stubber. Well, I forgot to remind them for making me, but I, I love being around people and I love to party my ass off. Everybody knows in here I'm really wild and controlled, but I do go to church. Thank you, Boo Meg. Go to Perrington. Uh, what time's that service, Bill? 10 o'clock? Dude, you will not fall asleep in his services, trust me. I'm hungover every Sunday, but by God, I'm there, and it's it's a treat, trust me. All right, anyway, uh, what do we got going on here? Uh, Tom Ritchie in the house. We appreciate Bill coming. Everybody get in for Bill. He took time out to come down here. All right, so what's going on, my friend? Uh, mayhem, when he fired up, something's not sounding quite right, so he's looking through the bow train, seeing what's what. We'll push him back, I'll make my run, hopefully get it back together, and uh, we can do his. Brad, they're going, they're going to set up Spank the Monkey, and uh, he wanted me to uh, sing a couple songs with him here later down there, because we got a, another project on the side, the Bottoms Up Band, so come out and see us. Two guys from Spank the Monkey, myself and Paul Quinn. My name's Mark Donnelly. Everybody knows Donnelly. Appreciate you guys all being here, especially Paul. Yeah. We support Mark.
There's two vehicles blocking the drive through next door to the bartender or a beer tip or a waitress or a